so this isn't really a video I wanted to make. I've actually been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off until, well, here we are. And that is the beginning of the year. I actually set quite a few goals out for myself and I've been sticking true to most of them. One of which that I set out for the beginning of the year is to effectively do what I said for y'all to do last video. And that was effectively to pick a schedule and stick to it for your coding in order to improve as a programmer and code whatever you have on your own projects. I decided to do one hour a day, three days a week is what I want to start out doing. I did that for the first couple months. I mean, I did that YouTube subscriber counter, which somehow got lost in the, in, in the move and I really have no idea where it is. Maybe it's up in the attic, but I did that. I had a few other projects going on on the back end and it just slowly started to diminish and to the point where I effectively quit coding. Now that may be a little bit deceiving because all year I've had a software engineering job. So I didn't quit coding altogether. I would quit coding my own projects. And the reason being is at work, you code four, six, even eight hours a day sometimes. And for me, the last thing I wanna do is after coding all day, is come back home and code even more. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really do enjoy coding. I love coding in fact, but doing it four to six, maybe even eight hours a day at work, the last thing I wanna do is come home and code even more on top of that, which is kinda of sad because the reason why I got into this is to create everything that I wanted to create. At work, you create something for somebody else. You're creating what they want you to create or what the client wants you to create instead of creating what My, my mic duct tape job didn't hold too well. I'll get that fixed eventually. But you're creating not what you necessarily want to create, not why you got into this hobby. And that's kind of how a lot of us start out is it's a hobby. It's like just a skill or something that you want to learn, like playing the guitar. And then if it turns into something more, then it turns into something more, but you always want to be able to enjoy yourself while doing it. One of the things I'd like to do after coding all day is actually sitting here and making a video. Video, throw it up on the YouTube channel. In fact, what this is right here is to get the bank account opened for this business, the YouTube business, because I've kind of been slacking on that and I need to really separate everything from personal finances and business finances. I do a good job at documentation, not documentation, but uh, accounting of those few things, but you really need a business bank account if you're gonna run a business. So let me finish this up real quick and we're gonna to have to head on over to the bank. Now which vehicle to drive? The nice SUV or the beat up old pickup truck? Nice SUV or the beat up old pickup truck? All right, so we chose a nice SUV. The old beat up pickup truck, as much as I love driving that thing, it doesn't have an inspection sticker and it probably can't pass inspection right now. I bought it as a project truck. So I had to change out the suspension, the ball joints, the U joints in the front drive shaft, basically all of that that you see behind the wheel of any vehicle probably needs to be looked at and most likely needs to be changed. So I need to do all of that work before I actually get it inspected. Then I can actually legally drive it. And that brings me to another point of what I like to do after coding all day. And that's get my hands dirty working on a truck. Like I bought this as a project truck not too long ago. I have a lot of work that needs to get put into it. I'm gonna go over more of that, like walk around the truck with y'all here towards the end of this video because I don't know, it's just something I like to do. I love to create. And this is just another way of expressing that ability to create. I have videos, I have code. Now I have a pickup truck because I need to be able to work with my hands and get my muscles moving again because it doesn't matter who you are, sitting at a desk for eight hours a day, maybe taking a couple breaks here and there throughout the day, isn't really good for anybody. So if you find something that you can get up, get active, get the blood pumping through your veins, through your body, then you might as well try. But a sneak peek into what I have planned for that, considering I'm switching out the suspension, I'm gonna be adding on a lift because I could just get lifted suspension for a similar price that I could get all brand new suspension, stock height. So with that, I also need to get wheels and tires to fit that lift probably some performance parts. I need to do some body work on there. When we get back home, we'll take a walk around the truck so you can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. All right, finally got that taken care of. To stay on theme with this video, another thing I like to do is that I just joined a, a slow pitch almond softball league. And actually I kind of ran myself out of my old cleats. Y'all can kind of kind of see what happened there. So came on over here to Dick's Sporting Goods. Don't mind all the dirt and, and stuff from my dogs, but 
We're gonna be getting some new cleats here. All right, mission failed, unfortunately. I went in there, tried on a, a pair, but I don't really like the way they looked, the way they felt, and nothing that I liked in there was for the right price, and I'm not trying to spend $100 on a pair of cleats I'm gonna wear for one baseball season out of the year and maybe a couple pickup football games in the fall. So I may, I'll just try to find some other store, some other day, order something offline. You just gotta be here before Thursday because that's when my next softball game is. It's just these are the type of things that I like to do after sitting all day. I don't like to sit even more even though a lot of my video work and video editing is sitting. But that's why I try to integrate all of this other stuff and actually got out of the office today to record this video, at least for the most part. All right, so here's the truck. You don't know what it is, 1997 Ford F-250 7.3 Power Stroke. If you don't know anything about the Power Stroke diesel, well, if you know, you know. It's kind of like one of those situations. But, I mean, you can see that this is old, rusty. It's a northern truck. I knew it was going to have rust, hence the fact that it's a project truck. Really bad Bondo and paint job right here. They tried to, like, tack in some sheet metal on the back of that fender. Plus, no, you can't really see it, but one of the cross members under there is uh, kind of rusted out. And you see right over here, this cab corner needs to be replaced. Same one on the other side. And I plan to effectively just kind of cut this out, tack in, so weld in a new cab corner. And then same thing with this. Oh, look, a frog. Are you okay? Okay. He's okay. But same thing with this uh, outer cab floor. What I'm going to have to do is cut that out. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do that. And how big the actual replacement is. And then weld in a new outer cab floor oh actually look at that look at that interior not too bad i love the red i love the red then as you can see up here look how trashed that leaf spring is and look how trashed that shock is so obviously those are going to need to be replaced as well and then of course all those upgrades that i would even put on like a like a nicer truck like that considering the lift and the wheels and tires and the performance parts and things of that nature all that's going to get done <sighs> all right so I just recorded the entire end of this video that you are about to watch and I realized that I did not plug my microphone into the camera so it is very echoey but I'm really happy with what what I said and, and how I said it and it's not something that I really f feel the it won't be the same if I try to re-record it so in order to avoid making mistakes like me, I'm gonna take this opportunity to plug to plug this video sponsor, Skillshare. If you're unaware about Skillshare is, it is an online learning platform for creators like you and I. They have tens of thousands of classes in the realm of technology, coding, business, marketing, advertising, photography, and videography, and more. But I stopped at videography because maybe what I should be doing is hopping on my computer and watching a few videography classes because maybe that'll teach me not to forget to plug in my microphone. I still can't believe I did that. So if you wanna avoid making small mistakes like that in whatever skill you know right now, or if you wanna learn a new skill, use the link in the top of the description and you can get two months of Skillshare Premium for free. And I'll be completely honest with you, there are a lot of those courses that you can complete within that two month span. You can go from the beginning of the course to the end of the course and do everything in between it within the two months. All you have to do is exactly what I said in the last video, Set a schedule and stick to it. Three, four, seven days a week, one to two hours a day, and you should be good. And I'll do my best to figure out in post what I can do to reduce the echo of this next clip. Just know I tried my best and everything I'm talking about has come from the heart. That's why it's not it's not anything that I can re-record and it actually makes sense. So enjoy. Now what may surprise you about all this is that I'm I'm kind of okay with it. I mean if you're in a similar boat, you should be too, because there's this stigma where if your GitHub graph isn't green all the way through and through, if you don't code after work, then that means you're not good enough or that you're not passionate about what you actually do and all that's crap. I mean, what other profession does anybody do what they do, eight hours of work for somebody else for their professional job to make a living, actually do that outside of work whenever they get, they get home? like. I'm sure there are some crazy people out there that actually do that, all power to you, but I don't know anybody that does that on a consistent basis. The main part I don't like about it is because I would love this YouTube channel to integrate actual projects that I'm working on into the videos. Obviously, uh, when you're working at a, at a full-time job, you can't be integrating that code and, and what you're doing there uh, specifically into the videos. Whereas if you're working on your own project, you can do whatever you want with it because that's your code, your project, what have you. 
And I've actually been trying to mix around a few things in my life for the past month or two to the point where I can start working on my own projects again, and I have been. I haven't been as dedicated as I would like to be, but I'm slowly working towards it. You know, you can't just pile all this stuff on yourself and expect you to see it through over the next six months. Just I'm right now, what I'm doing is I'm easing on into it and just seeing how it goes. And what my plan is right now that I sure hope I stick to is that I'm not gonna make any videos about my own coding projects that I'm working on at the moment. Actually, it's just one project. What I'm gonna do is wait until I complete that project, film along the way, and then I'll make a, a video or a series out of it because I don't like having to start something and then something comes up and I end up not finishing it because I've had that happen before where I have a decent amount of time and I'm dedicated to working on a particular app. Y'all know what app I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is maybe like a year or two ago and then something would come in the way. I remember when I really wanted to start working on that. The very next month, I started one of the busiest semesters I've ever experienced in terms of the actual coursework at hand, plus I was doing an internship, so I was working full time, plus I was trying to grow this YouTube channel, and I had all these three things juggling that I could maybe get by with four to five hours of sleep that whole entire semester, so there wasn't really much time left to work on the app that I wanted to work on. But even though I said I wanted to do it, and I love to be a man of my word, like. I literally had zero time to do that because I was doing all of this. So I don't want to make a promise or a commitment right now. I'm just going to have fun, work on what I got, and then eventually y'all will see what I'm working on. And I know many of y'all are out there where you may code all day at work or at school or what have you, but you don't have the energy when you get home, you're, you're mentally drained to work on your particular project, even though you think you want to. My little advice is, is it's easier said than done is what I said last video is try to figure out like is there a little thing I can tweak like within five, ten minutes? Just just something so small that you know you can go up and just fix it or, or, or tweak it or maybe you can refactor some code and make it a little bit cleaner and then that may snowball into 45 to 60 minutes because you jumped from that and you saw something else you needed to refactor or you saw another feature that you wanted to add or maybe that's just all you need is that initial five to 10 minutes refactoring some code to actually work on the task you're supposed to work on that day. For me and a lot of other people, it's always the hardest to get started, but once you get going, you'll find yourself having more energy. And a word of advice, if you've found those people who love to say, well, if you had a project that you were passionate about and you loved, then you would find the energy to complete it. Energy is not a magical substance granted by fairies for when you pass the test of loving a project. You just have to figure out a, a method to gain that energy, whether that be like a 20 minute power nap or the, the little tip that I just mentioned. Earlier I mentioned how I really didn't want to make this video because you know there are various reasons why, no need to go, go get into those, but the reason I'm making it now is because I finally got back into coding my own projects and the fact that I don't feel pressure from you know trying to put it up on YouTube or trying to do this or trying to do that like for school for work I'm doing the this particular coding for myself that's why I'm comfortable making this video because I just it kind of makes you feel like a failure uh, in some weird sort of way at least that's how I felt when I tried to record this video when I wasn't coding like when I actually did quit coding my own projects I just didn't like the feeling so I didn't end up posting that video but here we are now however many months later that back coding again and I feel good about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video I, I enjoyed taking y'all along with me on some of these little tasks that I had to do today and appreciate y'all listening to you know me rant a little bit about exactly what I said in this video. So if you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you really liked it, if, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button because there are more to come. Trust me on that. And uh, until next time.